saying I shouldn't even have an opinion on it. But if we literally can't affect the outcome, I don't see the point in choosing either or. And on top of that, even Joe, he ain't did nothing he said he was gonna do. None of them do. They never do. I think that a lot of presidential candidates pander to black people. I think that they Absolutely. have a tendency to tell black people what they're gonna do for them or tell black people that they're gonna do something for everybody that directly affects black people and it never happens. Always. Um, that's their track record. Yeah, that, that's always been what we've done. Uh, that being said, I still don't know who I'm gonna vote for. I don't really like either one of them. Um, kind of going towards the Joe Biden side because I'm not gonna lie, no matter what, I just cannot vote for somebody who damn near holds a Klan rally at the political the political rallies that he does. The fact that it's a lot of people who I know don't like people who look like me, mm -hmm. it just I just can't do it. It's like, you know, I don't even know how much money that you supposedly put in black people's pockets. The fact that the people that you lean on happen to not like the people that look like me, it just throws me off. I can't vote for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, Sleepy Joe, you lied. And you fall asleep at the podium, and you're damn near see now. I could go for you versus I could go for a racist cracker. That's just me personally. Now, I know a lot of too. people say, well, probably. He had a hand in the bill for three strikes. He ain't no problem. With Bill Clinton. Yeah, and there Clinton is no problem. Back in the day, for my people didn't know, and we ain't got to explain it to you. Some people, you can go and Google that about the three strikes. But, but a lot of black people are already very familiar because it definitely damaged the black community in a very serious way. And the Clintons actually apologized right. for it because it fucked up the community. But so look bad. at the age of this man. Like, when you look at a lot of old white people and you look at the time that they were brought up in, even if they don't directly not like you, mm -hmm. something about their makeup or something about their DNA is going to have something to do with doing something that's going to be detrimental to you. Mm -hmm. Because the time that they grew up in, that's how it was. You would have to be a saint. And I'm not, and I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not giving none of them a pass about that shit. Mm -hmm. But considering the time that they come up in, they're going to have some type of hatred about us because their parents preach that shit to them. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of 10, they probably preach it to their children as well. Like, hey, don't hang around them because you know they do this, or don't be around them because they know that you do that. Right. So that, I feel like both of them have some kind of racist makeup to them. It's just that with Donald Trump, it seems like he really pushes that. Whereas like, hey, that whole make America great again shit, America was never great for our black ass. Ever. It might have been okay for your white ass, but it yeah, was never it was okay never. Us. And Great him being, I, I don't think he's an idiot. I don't think either one of them is an idiot. They're not. But I think that he's smart enough to know that. And he's like, okay, I know that I can get these folks from these racist white people because they, all I got to do is say this. All I got to do is say, let's make America great. Let's go back to 1937. And them white people are going to be like, hell yeah, they took our herbs. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to be with that shit because that's how they feel. And at the same time, he's going to be able to... Uh, appeal to black people by saying certain shit like I'm gonna give you some money or I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that that's not saying that black people ain't got no money but that is to say that a majority of Just America doesn't what have they money hear. right Amer a, a majority of America doesn't have money and it's no secret that black people fall into that if you area. walk into a pride Parade and you say y'all gonna y'all can have all the rights you want. They just gonna start cheering. You know how to give people what they right. want. You can you can politicians tell aren't what stupid. They want. <laughs> when Pride Month comes around and all the companies start putting all these rainbows right. and Black History Month comes around and it's Black Lives Matter like right. they right. people know what they be doing. You know how to pander. It's they do pandering. that shit intentionally. Intentionally. And, somebody, and that's that's I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That's propaganda. And as somebody who's able to to think on their own, I don't know who I want. That's just what it is. It's like, I don't really know you who I want. It's like you fuck either way. Yeah, not I don't really feel like they're going to yeah, They're not going to make good on no promise at all. Uh, as, and I do feel like as black people, we have to stop looking at them as so saviors. saviors or the uh, rescuers. Hell I yeah. do feel like Hell slavery yeah. does play a part in this whole concept of black people feeling like we have a savior. Where it's like somebody's going to come back and save us. When... 400 years will tell you that nobody's coming to save us. Mm -mm. We have to save ourselves. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do vote in local politics. Because I feel like, hell, Atlanta, 
Clayton, Henry, uh, DeKalb. I don't know about Gwinnett and Cobb, but those counties are black ran. Black people run all those counties. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I'm going to vote for this stuff because mm -hmm. it's like, hey, those people directly affect me. The president, I don't know if you affect me or not, nigga, because for one, you lying to me. And two, none of y'all look like me at all. This nigga I just met down the street who's running for this and running for that in office, he looks just like my black ass. You know what I'm saying? Well, I will shit, say I'll that um, I feel like local and district votes, you know, ordinances and propositions in your your county and your area, <coughs> that voting matters. Right. That voting matters. Presidential election never fucking doesn't matter. I think that presidential elections kind of is evidence of we're kind of out here by ourselves. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to say this and I'm going to say that, but really it's the people around you in your local office that's really going to be able to really help you. These you just said some real shit. It's like, a, it's like a celebrity contest. It's like, hey, I who would, do you like more? I, I definitely I would, would advocate that more at the end of the day as opposed to voting for the presidential election because, right. because it's, a, it's a losing battle and they're up too high, make too much money in, in too different of a tax bracket to address your, your problem. It's just too small for them. Right. And they've shown that since, uh, when did the U.S. start? I'm joking. Fuck the U.S. They've never given a fuck. Right, right. They've never helped right. or tried to make anything. It's always been a struggle and always with a red line. And like we know, we're we're at the point that we we we're aware of everything. Aaron, Aaron McGruder said we're at the point where we know everything that's going on. Right. And nobody's changing it. Right. Right. I mean, it's it's it's. Shout out to Aaron McGruder. You the guy, bro. You okay. made Boondocks like Black Jesus. I, I still want to work with you, bro. And I know they're not fucking with you, but we can start our own shit, bro. We still, we still on the, you know, the white people. Oh, well. you, you see how they butchered the boondocks after yeah, he left? Yeah, we yeah, all saw that yeah, bullshit. Yeah. We saw how they did you, dog. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to Eric Gruden. We still fuck with you, man. Shout out to Slink. You know what I'm saying? Slate Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> that man fucking hilarious, dog. Yeah. The whole fucking cast, bro. All right, <laughs> Charlie Murphy. I don't want to get started because I'm real... I, I, I'm, no, a fan, I'm a fan of the game, man. I'm a fan of the game. I could go on forever. I love the legends. Shout out to everybody, bro. Right, right. So, I Thanks. definitely appreciate you coming through. Uh, coming through. I pulled up at your. <laughs> this is the first episode at my homeboy house. You know what I'm um, saying? <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot more episodes coming. We're gonna have a whole studio. We're gonna do a lot of things. Um, Big things coming. You know, in every episode, I'm gonna do a segment called "Some Shit About Stuff." I've always said that. I'd be like, you know what, let me tell you some shit about stuff. There just be some shit that just be going on in my mind that I just got like a pet peeve with or something that's just pressing to me. And I think today's some shit about stuff is going to be about appreciation. What I want everybody to remember is you need to be appreciated. It, it, you know what, it'll be appreciation and it'll be value. Always make sure that you put value on yourself. I always make sure that you're appreciated for the things that you do for people. I'm sure that there's a lot of people out in this world who do things and don't reciprocate the same kind of kindness or the same kind of favors that you're bestowing upon other people. If you feel like you're being uh, taken advantage of, if you feel like you're really not getting what you feel like you deserve, you need to separate yourself from that situation. You need to... Uh, become a better person away from these people. You cannot be who you need to be when you have leeches attached to you. You just can't do it. When you got blood sucking ticks that's attached to your body, you will never become the person that you're supposed to be. And at the end of the day, you don't have to feel like you're better than people, but, it, but you are. That's just what it is. You don't have to go around being vain. You don't have to go around acting like you're just this prominent person and everybody else is a peasant. But you are better than some people. You're better than murderers. You're better than pedophiles. You're better than rapists. That being said, those are just the tip of the iceberg. You're better than a lot of people. You're better than selfish people. You're Real better shit. than unappreciative people. Unkind You're better people. than disrespectful Manipulative people. Manipulative people. And keep Malicious that shit people. in mind. Exactly. Real shit. Nah, Pay attention just... to energy. Mm -mm. Pay attention to energy. Mm -mm. And it'll make you feel like shit. It'll yeah. make you look at yourself and be like, damn, maybe I ain't nothing. No, you're, my, you're not nothing right now because you've given everything. Take all that shit back. When you take <laughs> it back, you the shit. If you take it back, you're everything. Take it back. For, straight up. <laughs> if you take everything that you've given to everybody else back, then you are everything that you really should be. <laughs> take all that shit back. Fuck them. Fuck them. Real shit. Fuck them people. Be who you need to be so you can become the person you want to be. And that's just some shit about stuff. I'm going to see y'all next week. Well, I might even see y'all in a couple days. You're going to see me around. Shout out to my nigga.
nigga Dex Will, you want but Dex Will. You want but Dex Will. Straight up. Straight up. On your dumb ass. And I'll see y'all in a couple days.